Hey gang, Private Jack here. Okay, over the past couple of weeks I've been plagued with questions about uh, this particular topic. Uh, is it possible to load Half-Life, the original Half-Life models, or Gold Source models into Source Filmmaker? Well, the actual answer is yes, yes you can. And I've tried to do a tutorial in a one-stop shop type environment but I found that the video took like over an hour and a half to complete and I don't think you guys want to sit through a whole hour of me decompiling models and getting them into Source Filmmaker. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this into a series of uh, smaller modules. Uh, we'll go through how to decompile, how to edit the QC, how to recompile and get them into Source Filmmaker, how to get the textures and all the rest of that good stuff. And I'll break it all out into individual modules so that you can go and look at the module you see fit. So first thing I'm going to cover here is what tools are going to re be required to do this operation and where to get them. So these are the tools that I use. I use Crowbar. I use uh, Notepad++. I use VTF Edit. I use GIMP. And I use the VTF plugin for GIMP uh, to do my extractions and getting my all the all the work that I do with my models. So those are the programs that I'm going to demonstrate in this series. And where do you get them? Well, you can either Google this stuff, like here what I want to do is I want to find the crowbar uh, tool so I'm going to come in here and I'm going to type crowbar source modding source engine modding tool and I can hit enter on that and it's going to take me away to various places where I can actually read up on it if I go to this particular group this is Zek McCaw's group for crowbar where he actually hosts a the steam group uh, on the, uh, the the project that he's doing if you click this link right here it will take you to his uh, Google or his download page clicking the link here will take you off to actually his uh, Google page now you'll find that it opens up here oops there's a problem with the network retrying don't worry about that all you have to do is click the download button Things will think a little bit, and then you'll be offered with the ability to download the uh, tool. I download it, save it as a uh, item on my desktop. It comes down in the 7Z file, and basically that's where I put it. It's on my desktop. So there is Crowbar downloaded, ready for me to extract and use. Uh, for Notepad++, again simple uh, Google of Notepad++. It'll give you the uh, download page. Go to the download page, download it, and install it. VTF Edit, same thing. Google it. The one that you want is version 1.33. Uh, click on the link. It'll take you to the uh, NEMS Tools download page. I usually download the actual installer and install it. I'm using Windows 10 and it there's a couple of other little things tricks and tweaks that you have to do to windows 10 in order for this thing to work if you actually read some of this stuff here it will tell you what you have to do okay uh gimp google gimp it'll bring up the actual uh gimp page go to the page download gimp come on Here you go. Uh, current version is 2.8.18. Uh, there are a ton of plugins for this. One of them is uh, the actual VTF plugin. If you Google GIMP VTF plugin 2.8, it'll give you a list of options. The one that you want to go to is this one Valve Texture Format GIMP Plugin Registry. Click on that, it'll take you to this page and basically all you have to do is download uh, I think it's version 
two, one now. Let's see. No, 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 no. I don't think that's the right one. Let's go back here. Let's go to the Valve Community plugin. Here it is. Okay, so click on this link here. GIMP VTF plugin two uh, one point two one. It'll take you to a download page. I'm hoping. Right there. Click on the download. GIMP plugin dot rar. Save it to your desktop and follow the install instructions in the package to install it into GIMP. Now if you're worried about uh, viruses, watch this. I'm going to right click on Crowbar. I'm going to run it for viruses. I use Kapersky's total security and bingo, no threats. Do the th same thing for the GIMP plugin. Scan for viruses, no threats, completely safe, and there you go. Okay, so anyway, those are the programs that I use. Another place you can get uh, the actual uh, crowbar is by going to Steam, here to the community homepage, down here find people or groups, type in crowbar, source, engine modding tool here's the group go to the group page and follow the same thing I did when I used uh, Internet Explorer click on the download link go to the download page click on that it'll take you to his Google page it's Google Drive. Oops, there's something wrong with the network. Don't worry about it. Click on the download button and away you go. It offers you the download ability. Okay, so we've got those things down. Those are the tools I'm going to use. I'm not going to show you how to install them. And basically that wraps up this particular video. So Stand by for actually using Crowbar to uh, extract models, and we'll carry on from there. So with that, I say Private Jack out.